aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Lawletta to throw. Being chased out left. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. You feel those, Slim. In there to take him down and to take us to the two-minute wall. I tell you, boy, kick him a field goal. It's tough down here. To go you better know what you're doing. The first half. And that goal line. I'm just going to be honest about it. But first, this time out. puts this one through and they'll get it back within a point at seven to six no problems in the field goal department so far he's two for two pretty reliable here in this game isn't he and to me that bodes well for them if they need him late in the game his confidence should be sky high now it's Wilson and not a bad return here he gets it out to the 25 yard line and Tampa Bay trots out there now. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Wow, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Jameis now on first down. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Olivier Vernon in there to make the sack. Really? He buries him for a loss of 10. So yeah, give me time to throw the football, man. Oh. Second down after the sack. Work to be done. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Look at that. Oh, the rookie nearly had the pick. Probably should have had it. Third down now. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down. Then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working out of the gun, Winston. He's going to let this go deep for... It got his man complete! Mm -hmm. And they do finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 41. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. A first down throw for Winston. Looking deep downfield. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers seven, six. as much as they're playing uh -huh. the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. 7-6. Here now is Do second solid. And again from the 41. Do solid with the New York Giants. The dude I'm playing against. Second down throw for Winston. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. That's going to be caught. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Come out of that cover one. That's all I'm going to tell you. Deshaun Jackson, 41 yards. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. 
to come out of it. Santos with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point oh, no, kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that ends up in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bash it. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Hot. On second down, here's Larletta. Over the middle, complete. That's Shepard. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This quarterback now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. A shotgun snap to Lawletta. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Walletta again here on second and ten. Now he's forced out left. He's got it with the 15. He's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. And now, before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Lawletta on first down. Steps away to his left. Looking for his receiver sharp and it's intercepted. Thank you. Picked off by Quarter. Just a little bit of fag, D. And a a big bit. Turnover there as his guys will get the football <laughs> back. Yeah, I'm saying though, like you, if you get the hell you can't stop him, then. Just try it every now and then. Shoot. This boy ain't playing with uh the quarterback, what's the name? The man, he ain't even playing with man. They'll run it with Jones. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, not a game right, that you're going to go buddy. crazy about, but when you start to. You're smart, you can call a timeout, blitz, and you try to stop. This is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, they just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Buccaneers out on top. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. I'll get him down now. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And now out come the Giants. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's... And that's they let him kick that move. Crap. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. It's a big time play there for the G Man. 42 yards. Lucky 56. 
Now Lalette on first down. Dancing to his left. Wide open receiver complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Give him nine yards on the carry there, a good run. And now second and goal. Second and goal from the one. They come out here in the eye. He'll get it up the middle. And he is in. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley punching it in from a yard away. And the Giants are a two-point conversion away from tying this football game. Now the offense will stay out there. They're going to line up and try for two. Try and run. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll go again to Jones. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline of being an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On third down, Winston. And that is incomplete. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. They're going to try for it on fourth. Winston stays out there. Now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Winston. And it is gun. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And the Giants are going to take over in great field position. Here's the Giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Now here's Lawletta, and down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Gerald McCoy forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. 
Detroit! Detroit! This is third and long. Here's Loretta. Buying time to his left. And this is going to be incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. spin around the league real quick you know last week we discussed the head coaching vacancies there were eight of them well a lot of those places have already found new coaches charles some old faces in new places bruce arians in tampa bay adam gase staying in the afc east jumping from miami to the jets and how about some of the new fellas yeah how about cliff kingsbury he went to usc to be the offensive coordinator after losing his job at texas tech Ends up being the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. Freddie Kitchens gets the job in Cleveland, gets the promotion. Vic Fangio finally getting his shot to be a head coach. He's going to Denver. And Matt LaFleur, he's going to work with Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. That leaves us with two remaining spots, Cincinnati and Miami still searching. <laughs> Second down throw for Winston. And he almost intercepted it. Yeah. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down What's now. Mean? Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. This is caught by Jackson. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. Winston to his big play receiver, Jackson, 42 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. All square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. Inside the 20 at the 19. Call it a gain of three, and it'll make it second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of reasons. Into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Three touchdown passes hmm. now in the ball game for Jameis Winston. And the Bucs are going to take the lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production. Man, I'm bad on like the field. Tough in New the York, second man. touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. 
And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Giants ready to come out now. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. All right, now, lucky hmm. 56. Lucky 56. Six. On first down, Loletta. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. And there was a good opportunity. Just went awry there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Line of scrimmage again to 25, second and 10. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Back to the air, Lawletta on second down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A really nice gain of 25 yards. There's a good push to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, the speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Lawletta from the 50. Wide open receiver complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A really nice gain <laughs> of 25 yards. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off down at the ten. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. <laughs> you heard, you heard him say he picked it up. And it's going to come down <laughs> the hands of the wrong team. Boy, you saw that. You heard him say he picked it out, dude. At their own 11. This is Jones. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where you got more 50 guys up, bro. Taking Shoot. care of the ball, all the balls. You have a good time this year. Ever been used? They come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Again, it's Jones. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Jones. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. And now a timeout taken here defensively with 2.07 remaining. So they'll also have the stop coming up at the two-minute warning. Hey, let's give it to Burton. They'll try to throw now. Winston. They'll buy some time right. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this.
This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Jameis to throw it. He's got Evans. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A familiar ring to that one. Winston to Evans for the Buccaneer first. Get up out of here. Uh, he in a, you talking about the, the guy in the middle? Yeah, put him in the uh, middle third. Get safety up. 